similarities from this design here compared to what's at the Phoenix and being used in Copiapo? Well, uh, they're almost identical on the inside diameter, so uh, that's probably the greatest similarity. The other similarity between both the capsule here uh, that was used at Q Creek and the capsule in Chile is the fact that they both have an emergency escape system designed into them. This capsule being designed in 1972 actually has the whole bottom that will All right, drop this, away. And this is it right here, right? Right. Uh, these two pedals, when these pins are pulled and these pedals are tramped, the entire bottom of the capsule will drop off. That will fall. And there's a there's a rope and a, and a, and a automatic belay system. It's actually up in the top of the capsule. There's a sling that you put around underneath your armpits and an automatic belay that drops you out of the capsule and back down into the mine. That and the situation where that's used is if perhaps the capsule gets stuck, exactly. uh, something may happen with the person that's inside the capsule and may need to escape quickly. Exactly. They have a way out. And the capsule, the Phoenix, also has the same feature. Right. I was also noticing this. These little ridges where the paint is worn off at the bottom, the midpoint, right. and the top. Right. The capsule. This capsule has uh, has several bronze rings on it, and that is for a mining environment uh, to help reduce the risk of sparks causing an explosion in a rescue. Hey, what are some of the features on this uh, that, uh, or let me put it another way, tell me about some of the features that are on the Phoenix that aren't on this. Oh, that's. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, the Phoenix has a lot more modern conveniences in it. Uh, it has, it's a bit longer. It's about three feet longer than this capsule. And it's got onboard oxygen. It's got onboard telemetry, audio and visual communications, wireless with the surface, so they can monitor the miner who is in that capsule the whole time from the time he leaves the mine till the time he reaches the Where's surface. the space for that stuff? I mean, I'm looking at this right now. I mean, you've got the uh, harness at the top. You've got the escape uh, route at the bottom. Where are they putting this sort of telemetry, these electronics. Both above and below the miner. That's why uh, the Phoenix capsule is quite a bit longer than this. Uh, although it's almost identical in diameter, it is quite a bit longer, and that's where they've got some of that uh, very modern equipment. What about weight? Uh, it's a little bit heavier. That one's, uh, uh, this one's about 600 pounds, that one's about 900 pounds. So it is a little bit heavier. That extra, that extra technology does cost a little bit of weight, which is, that's really not a problem. So the diameter here is 21 inches on the inside? Correct. And I have the ability to actually have light outside, but you can imagine through the 15-minute trip that they'll be taking from the bottom of the mine going up 2,000, more than 2,000 feet, what they'll have to deal with, keeping their hands down to the side like this, right, Bill? Right. And you have to remember, too, that uh, in a 26 diameter, 26 inch diameter hole, uh, you're going to have a stone wall right here uh, the entire time as you're coming up. Yeah, so one of the dynamics would be I would have vision that maybe might go two to three inches I'll have a portion which will be smooth because there's a well casing for the top 300 or 330 feet. But below that depth, it's going to be rock. And, you know, I might see particulate. It may even hit me in the face as the wheels sort of abrade because the Phoenix has wheels on the top and the bottom to assist it as it turns. Because, actually, this capsule also will rotate just a little uh, to the left or to the right as it makes those turns, making it up that half a mile course. And... Um, Again, there would be mesh in this space. And I, let me grab the camera for me just to get a sense of how packed it is in here as I get in here. And I do this because I really want to give you a sense of how tight it is as we move in some of the safety levers there. At the top, you can see, which is only about a foot, and I'll need that should I be in a emergency because I would put on that harness that you see above me and let me just turn the camera around to show you what it looks like below the amount of space I've got here now I'm about 5 10 150 um, not a big guy but my shoulders are lock step side to side here I don't know if you can see my shoulder here it's right up against the left side and I'm gonna twist it around over here my right shoulders right there so if I were <laughs> you know, any bigger. Well, I'm only a 38. It would be very difficult to perhaps survive or fit in here, shall I say, uh, based on the space that's in here. All right, Bill, thanks. Let's uh, get me out of here. Okay, keep your hands in.